Hello and welcome back to another video. My name is Mike Davies and today I'll be showing you how to create this floating Air Jordans photo manipulation using GIMP. I'll be using GIMP version 2.10.30 which is the latest version of GIMP at the time of this tutorial. Before I get into that guys, don't forget to check out my website at daviesmediadesign.com. You can enroll in my GIMP 2.10 masterclass from beginner to pro photo editing on Udemy. And you can get more by becoming a DMD premium member and I'll include a link to this as well as all the relevant links from this tutorial in the description of the video. I'll be using this free photo from Pexels for today's tutorial. Just come over here to the arrow. I recommend going with the large or medium size just for faster performance, although you can go with original if you have a bit more patience. Here is the final composition we'll be creating for today's tutorial. So as you can see, I got rid of the guy jumping up. So now it's just these pair of floating shoes. So let's dive in here to the tutorial. To start, let's open up the image we wanna use. So go to my file explorer here in Windows and just click and drag the image that I downloaded into GIMP. And I'll just hit convert to convert this to GIMP's native sRGB color space. Here is the original image. And I just started this off by cropping it to the aspect ratio I wanted. That way I'm not doing a bunch of extra work getting rid of anything that's outside of the crop. So to do this, I'll hit Shift C on the keyboard to grab the crop tool. And I'm going to set the aspect ratio of the crop itself to one colon one and make sure the fixed option is checked and set to aspect ratio. So I'm just gonna click and drag my mouse. And by the way, I do have allow growing turned off and delete cropped pixels turned on. And I'm just gonna reposition the crop to where I want it. So probably about right here is good and click inside there to crop it. I'll hit control shift J and that's going to center my image up and max it out inside of the canvas. So next we need to start getting rid of the legs here Obviously there's some background behind this person, so we need to fix the buildings as well and make those work, which we will get into. But first we'll just start off with the easy part of the leg. So I'll hold control, zoom in with my mouse wheel. You can always use the middle click button on your mouse wheel as a hand tool. And I'm going to grab the free select tool here, which is F on the keyboard for the shortcut key. And I'm going to draw an outline around this Release my mouse and draw a straight line and then click and drag to continue drawing a line. Release my mouse and connect that last one there and hit the enter key. So now we have a selection area around this part of the leg. The reason I chose this part obviously is the building is below here. And what we're gonna do is use a free plugin called the Resynthesizer plugin. I have an entire tutorial dedicated to how to download and install this plugin. Uh, but we're going to use that resynthesizer plugin to pull pixels from the sides and fill this area in. So to do that, once you have the plugin installed, go to Filters, Enhance, and come over here to Heal Selection. So we're going to choose what's called the Context Sampling Width. So that's the area that we're going to be pulling pixels from. So if I grab the Measure tool, for example, I can click and drag and just kind of see how much space we have. In this case, we have a ton of space. We have about 170 pixels max in this direction. And I would say this whole thing is gonna be 180 pixels. So we probably don't need more than 90 pixels in either direction to fill this in. So let's come back here to the little Python script window and let's change this. Let's just go 100 to keep it safe. Sample from the sides, filling order will be random. That's just what I prefer and I'll click okay. And actually, let me hit Control Z to back up. I do just want to duplicate this image real quick. So click on the image, hit the duplicate icon. So now we're working on a copy. And just to repeat that effect we just did, hit Control F. And you'll see there in the status bar, it'll say resynthesizer running or something to that effect. And there it's going to reapply that effect. So again, filters, enhance, heal selection. And that's how we got to that effect. All right, so let's grab the free select tool, control shift A to deselect that. So now we've done the easy part, let's move on to the next part here. So I'm gonna go to about right here and just gonna stay close to the outline of the pant leg. Hit the enter key. 
So again, we're gonna hit Control F to just apply the same exact settings we created with the resynthesizer tool. And I'll be doing that throughout the tutorial, by the way. So that doesn't look great, as you can see, because it pulled too many pixels from this area, and so it just looks like a sloppy building or something. So instead of undoing it, what we're gonna do is hit C on the keyboard to grab the clone tool, and just increase the size of this using the right bracket on the keyboard. Hold Control and click, and you'll see that my source is set to image and my alignment here is set to none. And the hardness doesn't really matter a whole lot right now because we're kind of going to fix this anyway. But what I'm going to do is just paint little segments of the sky right here. And because this is a clone tool, it's just copying exactly what it sees over here. If you want to copy the darker pixels, you can always go with this area right here. So it's going to look like trash at first, but we're going to fix it. So control shift A to deselect it and hold control zoom in. We're going to do the same thing down here. We're going to select this part of the pants, but this time we're also going to select around the shoe. So hold control zoom in and he does have socks on. So we want to get rid of the socks. So we're just going to loosely outline this. I can release my mouse and use the keyboard to move over. And the more time you spend tracing this, the better the final result will look. And come over here and connect this, hit the enter key. In this case, you may want to uh, adjust the line here at some point. So you can always come to the paths tab and just convert the selection to a path using selection to path. So there is our path. If I hit control shift A to deselect that. And if I grab the paths tool and click on this path, hold control zoom in. Now I can make adjustments to this if I need to, just to get kind of a more accurate selection here around the shoe since the shoe is pretty important. And then once you're ready, you can convert it back to a selection using path to selection. And now that we've done that, I can hit control F and that's going to once again apply the resynthesizer. That's going to continue to work, that shortcut key, as long as you don't apply another effect in the meantime. So as long as the resynthesizer was the last effect you performed, it'll keep working. We're going to hide that path, and let's grab the free select tool, hit Control shift a That doesn't look great, but we are going to fix that. So let's move over here to the right side now and do the same thing. So this time we could start a little lower, probably about right here and trace around this. Hit the enter key, control F to apply the resynthesizer. And this part doesn't look great because it pulled a little bit of the black pixels down here. If I hit the C key on the keyboard, that'll grab the clone tool. Control click to grab a source area. And let me hit control Z, grab a better color here. Control click. And you can also just grab from up top here actually. And just sort of clone that out and control shift A to deselect that. And let's grab the free select tool again and we're going to loosely draw around the pants, around the sock, hold control zoom in. So here we're gonna to try to get a bit more precise. Keyword is try. And come over here, hold control zoom out. Use the middle click as a hand tool. Bring that around, connect it, hit the enter key. Control F is going to bring in the resynthesizer. And again, doesn't look great. So what I'll do, hit the C key. Let's control click to grab a source area and just clone this out. Same with down here, just clone all that out. And control shift A to deselect that. Actually, let me hit control Z. You might wanna keep this selection area. So let's come over here inside the paths tab. We'll create a path from that selection Keep that there for later. Control shift A to deselect that. And now I'm back over here in my layers panel. So, so far looking pretty bad, but we're going to work on it and fix it. First thing I want to do is add the back part of the shoe here. Uh, right now, you know, it doesn't have a back and that's sort of um, ruining the illusion there. So let's come over here to the file explorer and click and drag. This is just a photo I got from Google Images, and I'm actually going to release this on top of the image itself. So that will import that image. I'll hold control, zoom out. So right now we can't see what's going on, obviously, because this is covering everything up. So what I'll do is come over here, grab the unified transform tool, 
and click on this layer and we can use the show image preview option and decrease the opacity of the preview. But what I want to do is position this and scale it so because we're using the unified transform tool we can use multiple transform tools. If I hover over the outside corner here of the handle I can use the rotate tool. If I hover my mouse over the middle I can use the move tool and then I need to scale this so I'm going to hover over the inside of this corner handle here, scale it in while holding shift and just trying to get this to a spot where it is mostly the same size. It doesn't have to be exact right now. It's probably about like right here is going to be good. So I'll hit transform. Now we'll grab the free select tool, hold control, zoom in, and I'm just going to very loosely outline this outer portion. It's not going to matter too much because we're going to basically transform it even more. So very loosely select it, hit the enter key, control C to copy inside the selection area, control V to paste, and I'm going to add this to its own layer. So we can name this shoe back, hit the enter key, and we can hide the original Air Jordans layer hold control zoom out. And by the way, if you are using another photo for this, you're not using the same shoes in here. You're just going to have to do a little bit of research to figure out what type of shoes are in the photo. In this case, it happens to be a pretty high profile shoe, the Nike Air Jordan 1s, I believe they are. Uh, I originally searched Nike high tops purple on Google and that gave me results for the Air Jordans, so that's what made it easy to find. Nike's are going to be a little easier than some other shoes, but if you can find a brand on here, that can help you figure out what shoe to use in the photo. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to color correct this because right now it's the wrong color. So I'll go to colors and let's start with the levels tool. So we're on the value channel here. It's a little bright right now. And we'll stop there for now. Head over to the red channel. So I'm eyeballing mostly the purple because that's the uh, most saturated color, the most visible color, so that's probably the best ref yeah, reference. And this is going to be a very loose color correction just because it's not super, super important for this to totally match. I think the value right now is a little dark. All right, not a great match, but it's good enough. So I'm going to come over here, click OK. So now what I'm going to do is right click on the shoe back layer, add a layer mask, and I'm going to go with white full opacity and click add. And next what I'll do is, well, let's first hide this. So it looks like it should be about the right size. So next I'm going to come over here and grab the paintbrush tool. And I'm going to make sure my colors are set to black and white. You can click this little icon to reset the colors. And painting with black here, I'm just going to paint the parts that are sticking out. The parts that we don't need. Probably should have started this with a black layer mask, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm going to hit X to switch over to white. Decrease the size of my brush and paint this part back in. And I'm aware that the shape of this is not right right now. I'm going to fix it in a second. Okay, <clears throat> so what we'll do is come back here, click off of the layer mask onto the layer, grab the warp transform tool, and this is going to be the second, uh, actually it's the first tool in this tool group, uh, W key to grab that. And I'm going to make sure that the warp transform is set to move pixels. I'm just going to click and drag inwards and that's going to allow us to shape this photo here that we inserted. And I'm going to hit the enter key to apply that warping. Next I'm going to grab the paintbrush tool and I'm going to make sure my color is set to black here. Come over to the layer mask. Make sure you clicked on that and just click and drag your mouse to bring this in and make sure we're not blocking any of the original. So let's hit X, paint this part back in and hit X again, paint this part out. That should line up nicely there. 
hold control, zoom in, hit the W key to grab the warp transform tool. And you can always adjust this either moving pixels outwards. And of course, let me hit control Z and make sure I'm on my layer and not my layer mask. You can always move pixels outwards if you want or inwards and just sort of adjust those until you are happy with how this looks. All right, so there we have the shoe. And next what we're gonna do is clean up the background just to finish this off. So let's come over here to the layer. This is the layer with the guy's legs removed. And now what we'll do is hit the H key to grab the heel tool. Hold control, zoom in. I'm going to increase the size of this. Hold control and click. And this is very similar to the clone tool except it's not just completely copying pixels from one area. It's going to blend the pixels from the area you copy with the area where you are painting. So in this case, this area right here. So we're gonna blend those parts, those clouds right there. Hold control, zoom in, control click, and just pick a good color to blend this. Control Z, make sure you're not selecting some of the parts below there like the buildings. So that's starting to come together. I think this building right here is a lost cause. So what I'll do is grab the free select tool. There's another building in front of it. So what I can do is simply trace over this building. And we're just going to select, actually we can just select this part and come down here, hit the enter key. And so now we have the building selected. We'll hit the C key to grab the clone tool, hold control and click. And we'll just clone that out. Control shift A to deselect it. We've got the seams here. So if I hit the H key and decrease this, hold control click to grab a source. And now we can paint on the destination area to blend that in. So now that building is gone. All right, so we're gonna clean up this part as well a little bit, and this has sort of a similar problem where the buildings just look horrible. So what we can do, hold control, zoom in. Let's come back to the paths tab. So I've got this area selected, and I'm just going to convert the path to a selection and hide the path. So what we can do is come over here, duplicate the original image, and click and drag it to the top. So that's just above the layer, the photo manipulation layer we're working on. Let's double click and rename this photo manipulation. So with the original, I'll hit the M key on the keyboard. And what I can do is just click and drag this over. And that's going to move this building over. And we're going to probably have to tweak it a little bit to make it work. But now what I'll do is right click and go to add layer mask and choose selection here. Click add. Now I'll hit control shift A to deselect that. So we've got another building here, but of course it's not working right now. So what we'll do is we're gonna tweak this a bit. So let's start with the paintbrush tool, increase the size of it. I've got it set to black and let's turn the hardness down a little bit. So we're going to paint some of that out like so. That doesn't look horrible. And we're gonna have to paint this out. All right, so it doesn't look perfect, but looks a lot better. I'll hit the C key to grab the clone tool and decrease the size of this. And let's come up top down here, make sure sample merged is checked in the tool options there. And we're going to control click to grab an area on the seam right here and just drag it up. And what we'll probably have to do is come over here to this layer and paint on this layer as well. And so what I'm doing is just getting rid of some of this color here because it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for this building. All right, now what I'll do is heal a little bit of the sky here and we're pretty much almost done. So hold control click with the heal tool, H key to grab that heal tool. Making sure you're on the photo manipulation layer. I'm just gonna paint some of this area and I'll have to switch in a second. So let's switch up top here and try to paint some of this out. I'll hit the C key and just use this clone tool here to get some of the colors going. And I think what I'll do, come back to the photo manipulation layer, control click. I'm just gonna get rid of that because that doesn't seem to make a whole lot of sense. 
H key, blend this in. And let me just decrease the size of the brush here. Hit the C key to grab the clone tool, control click. And let's just round out these lights here. So yeah, you're gonna have to do a lot of switching between layers just to uh, edit this and get it to look the way you want. So that's not perfect, but I think that's pretty good. So here you can see what this looks like now when we zoom out. Control Shift J once again to center that up. And let's just click on the bottom layer, grab the move tool. So the last thing I did was I just added some sort of post-processing to this. What you can do is go to layer, new from visible, and that will put all of your elements on this visible layer. Let me hit shift click to bring it to this top of the stacking order. And then from there, you can do whatever you want. For example, let's go to colors and shadows highlights and just sort of make some adjustments here. Click OK. And I'm just going to make this quick color saturation, increase the saturation here slightly. Click OK. And there's our final composition. All right, so that's it for this tutorial. Hopefully you liked it. If you did, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and click the bell icon to be notified each time I have a brand new tutorial. You can check out any of the links to my resources in the description of the video. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.